Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to create some product types that we didn't go over in the past videos on creating uh, different product types. And we're going to go over creating group products, bundle products, virtual products, and, um, and I'm going to show you how to update Magento. Of course, all of these aren't going to be in one video. There's going to be separate videos. But uh, uh, I am coming back with the Magento videos. So there's going to be many more. Um, I did get burnt out on them for a little while just by doing so many of them. Uh, but now I'm back. I'm ready to do some more Magento videos. So keep on a lookout for even more videos coming. Also, uh, we have launched a new leveluptuts.com. It's nice and responsive, so it adjusts to your uh, mobile phone, looks good everywhere. So check that out. Um, so you can see all of our videos in here. Check out what our latest video is, or uh, suggest videos, or just contact us if you need to. Keep in mind, um, the site is launching in sort of like a beta situation, so there's things like these images are missing, and I just needed to get a new site up. The current one wasn't doing it for me. Uh, we now actually finally have working breadcrumbs, which is apparently a big deal. So. Uh, check it out, check out the new leveluptuts.com and let us know what you think. Okay, so let's get into this Magento. And the first thing we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna create a grouped product. And so what is group product? Well, um, in your demo store, if you have the demo content or even if you don't, you may have seen products that say like starting at. Um, this says starting at $15. If we click it, you can see there's this box here where instead of being a drop down and we only get to pick uh, a, spe a specific type, like a size or something like that, this gives our uh, customers the option of buying multiple different products all in one go. We add these to our cart and then um, you'll be able to see it's now added six different hats to our cart. Cool. So uh, I've made actually made a new attribute set and it's teas. So the example I'm going to be using is of blooming tea, which if you haven't seen it, is uh, this flowering tea. This is bloomingtea.com. Um, and basically it's these little tea blooms, these little balls of tea that bloom into flowers. So I have an image here and uh, I'm going to create a product. And the product is going to have three different sizes. And each size is going to contain a certain amount of blooms, which are these tea balls. So we can say, let's go to manage products. And then we're going to add a product. And we want it to be the attribute set of T. Um, I know this doesn't really fit the theme of our store, but it works. So we're going to say grouped product is the one we want. And we're going to click continue. So this is just going to be box of blooms. And uh, it doesn't have a skew like anything. So we can just give it a fake skew. Uh, of course, we want the status to be enabled and visibility, we want it all over. Um, and it's not a new product, we don't have to worry about it. Um, I suppose the country of manufacture is China, so we can select China. Okay, now prices. So um, the thing about this is, um, the price in these group products is not determined at this base product. So we don't have to worry about anything here. However, the meta information, and I'm just going to grab some content from the site now keep in mind, I know uh, the owners of this site and they are okay with me using this information for this video. Um, now we're going to go to images and let's upload an image. I have an image of the T here and we're going to go and upload this. Key. Yeah, so don't, don't rip off images and content from someone else's site if you don't have their approval first. So now we're going to put in the description again. Okay, and this is just like normally filling out a normal product. Keep in mind this description is what's going to be on the actual product page. So this is the stuff you want it to have. The grouped product, uh, that information is not going to show up on the page, each individual products. It's just this overall grouped products information. So the description, the images, the design, that sort of stuff. So we don't need to change the design. We don't need to add any gift options. Um, inventory. Of course, we want to select in stock because, uh, you know, we have this product and it's going to be in our main store. And for our categories, well, it doesn't really fit in any of these categories. Um, and I don't really feel like creating a new category at the moment. So I'm actually just going to throw this 
into hats and apparel. I know that sounds weird, but uh, forgive me for this. It's not a real store. And now we don't have any related products, upsells or cross sells. And we actually don't have any associated products yet. So let's click save and continue. So now if we come down here to associated products, um, it says there is none. Well, what do we do here? Well, in a configurable product, you can create individual products from this associated product screen. However, for the group product, you're not gonna be able to do that. So what we need to do is now go to manage products, add a new product, and create our T's. So we're going to have them be a simple product and it's going to be T, course, and uh, we can have this say um, 10 blooms. And of course the SKU should be something uh, that makes sense here. And it's going to be enabled. It's going to be uh, taxable goods, I suppose. And then we want it to be visible in the catalog and search. I mean, you could have this be a visible all over the store, or you could have it be not visible individually. Since we're going to have them be able to select this as a group product, we can say not visible individually, and your customers will only see this as the grouping. So that way your product listing won't get cluttered with 10 blooms, 20 blooms, 30 blooms, 40 blooms, or whatever, and we just have them individually as or grouped individually into this group product. So now the price, we'll just say, to keep it simple, 10 bucks for 10 blooms, okay? And uh, meta information, um, we don't need this information right now. And even though we're selecting an image here, it's not going to matter. It's really just going to show the, uh, the grouped products image. So maybe I should just skip it for the next ones. Description. I'm just gonna throw this in here. But of course, it's going to show the grouped products description like I mentioned before. Now we wanna select this to be in stock and we do not want to manage stock on this. So um, we're in stock, whatever, we're good. So let's go to websites, it's on the main store. Categories, uh, we can say it's in these categories but since this isn't showing up individually, we don't have to put it in anything. So let's not worry about that and there's no custom options. So let's click save. And now, here's where I'm gonna save a little bit of time here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find all of my products here, and I'm gonna click on this one. And notice how there's this duplicate button right here. You can just duplicate this product. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna fill in a lot of these fields like the name for you, but the ones that you know it's going to change, like the SKU, it's not going to uh, fill in. So everything, is good here we can change this to twenty dollars okay and all this stuff is good and um, let's also go to inventory really quick notice how this one also says it's out of stock uh, we're gonna select this to in stock but then we also wanted to say manage stock no I actually don't know uh, there there's some weird stuff with managing stock here so I always make sure I check that to yes before I say manage stock no I don't know if that's uh, overly cautious or something but now click save, and now I'm gonna do this once more, and we're gonna create 30 blooms, duplicate here, and then we're gonna be ready to finish off our, kit, our grouped product. You think the weight would go up a little bit, so I can add that. Prices will be $30, not much of a savings break on this. Um, and then we're going to want to uh, not manage stock again. No, save it. Cool, uh, we forgot the skew, or I forgot the skew, and now we have our three blooms, they're all simple products, and we have our group product that's a box of blooms. So now we can click into this box of blooms, we can click associated products, and in here we can type the name blooms, or just whatever our products are, and then hit enter, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna search for them. The reason it didn't find anything is because this is checked to yes. And this means, is it already associated with this product? Um, since we have nothing associated, it's not gonna find anything. Instead, I'm gonna select any 
which is going to look for any product on our site that has the word blooms in it. I'm going to check these three boxes and now let's click save. Great. So let's come to uh, the front end of our site. And if you remember, we put these under ads. We scroll down, you'll see our box of blooms here. And now it says starting at $10. So it doesn't just say $10 because there's more than one product associated. I click this and we now have this and it looks like it just has these 10 blooms. So what's going on here? Well, if I had to guess, I would say it was a problem with the duplication process. And if you had a quick eye, you might have seen that uh, these two additional duplications were not selected to be enabled. So if we click these back and we change their status to be enabled, save, and then enabled, saved. Great. Now if we check our page, we have our official grouped product working. And uh, if you'll notice, they have these quantities in here. You can actually set default quantities. If you come into your group product and go down to associated products, over here, you can say this is one, uh, they automatically all have one. So you can force your customers to automatically have one of each, which might be a dark pattern or something you don't want to do. So we can just say one for the smallest one. And also, if you wanted this one to be on the top and it wasn't for some reason, you could give them weights. So one would be lower and then two would be even lower. Even though they're in the correct order right now, um, this of course would guarantee that. So now if we save, refresh. Now 10 blooms is always going to be at the top and it automatically has a quantity of one. Notice how we can add here, add to cart, and just like we saw before, it's adding the 10 blooms and the 30 blooms individually as separate products, not as one product. So that's the difference between configurable products and grouped products. Because a configurable product is a product itself where a group product is letting you buy more than one single product at a time. This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please hit us up on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitter or anything on our website. Check it out. Let us know what you think. We always love to hear from you. And thanks for watching. Bye.